if you didn't become the super mega stars uh, comedian that you are, what would you have been? Did, was there any other things that you could have been that we could have seen TK in? Mm, that's an interesting question. What would I become if I wasn't a stand-up comic? I probably would have been a businessman. I probably would have got into some, I probably would have been managing somebody somewhere down the line. Because one of the greatest things people don't know about me is that I'm a hell of a negotiator. I'm a businessman. And I like to negotiate. I like to close deals. I like to get people what they want. It's just like a, I have a gift for that. So I like that kind of stuff. All right. So we got a lot of, most of our audience are actually business owners. Uh, yeah. You know, small business owners to medium-sized business owners. Yeah, you're talking about closing deals. You love to close deals. Like, what's a, do you have a closing deal, a tip that maybe you could throw at us in regards to closing more deals? Well, the best thing in closing the deal is that everything has to be fair. Everybody has to win. And if everybody wins and you make the other person feel as comfortable, you have a better chance of getting what you want. It has to be um, a situation where as long as you have that in your heart and you realize that everybody has to win, it's going to be a, a, a great deal. I, I think so anyway. Mm. And you know? we know, yeah, we know that you're big on, say it again. No, no, I'm listening to you. No, we know that you're big on taking care of your kids. Obviously, anybody who knows who you are knows knows you're big on taking care of your kids. Uh, I'm always curious to know what somebody like you, how do you feel about those who don't take care of their kids, specifically men who don't take care of their children? Well, I that's none of my business. I Everybody has their lane. Everybody has their reason for doing what they're doing. A lot of women talk about... Um, Debbie dads, but nobody talks about how they probably was a hoe, how they thought they probably thought they was on birth control. A lot of these kids grow up and they say they've never seen their daddy, but you never hear the true story. Like your mom really probably was a hoe and your daddy ain't want to fuck with you. And he, and the mama could have told your daddy that I'm on birth control and she probably wasn't on birth control. So you, a, a nigga came up in a cane and now we have all these issues. That's just one story. Then you got some stories that dads do just run out of relationship because maybe financial situations, et cetera. But that's something that I stayed away from. And I wish every man peace and ha happiness in that journey and that they find what's right in their heart and do what they think is right in their heart. But it's not for me to judge or speak on. Hey, Ma! I'm on TV! <laughs>